Hey, what's going on guys? Walla here. Today is probably the best day ever for a lot of people, including myself. For those who've hated hunters shade stepping next to them and throwing a shuriken only to get frozen and probably sword hilted, maybe teabagged afterwards. Today's your lucky day. Uh, hunter stasis finally got nerfed. On paper, the nerfs sounded pretty good. And of course, there were other things that got nerfed as well. So without further ado, let's get into it and uh, let's talk about whether this is still going to be meta or if they finally toned it down enough to where you could use light subclasses now. First off, we got the shurikens. One shuriken does 66 damage now instead of the old, I think it was 90 damage or something like that. So they nerfed the damage on it. And throwing two shurikens at someone does not freeze them anymore. Dusk field grenades actually take a really long time to slow people and freeze them now. So as you can see, uh, she's moving around pretty freely for a while before it actually does freeze her. They basically doubled the amount of time it takes to get frozen. I could be wrong on that. The math might be off, but either way, it does take a little bit longer to get frozen now. One other thing about dust field grenades, they don't suck as hard anymore. They still kind of pull you towards in, but uh, it, the radius on it isn't as big anymore, uh, but you'll still get pulled towards it a little bit. Nothing crazy anymore, which is really, really nice. Probably the biggest nerf out of all of this, you can no longer shade step shuriken someone, as I said, in the video uh, at the beginning so it's really really nice they get slowed still but they don't freeze so you can actually still shoot back but if they shade step and double shuriken they will freeze now which is okay but uh still slowing people is still really really overpowered in my opinion and uh it, i still think it's really good another thing i wanted to test is the fact that the slam glacier nade still works and yes it still kills people i have the artifact on on here uh the distance is okay and uh, it's still it's still pretty good and one last thing hunters can only shout Shatter dive every four seconds now. You have to wait a four second cooldown before you can use your next shatter dive. So no, you can no longer spam it anymore. Next, we have probably the most hated one. For some reason, I still think Hunter uh, is is more annoying, but people seem to hate Titan a lot worse. So the Behemoth no longer freezes people on cast. As you can see here, I'm gonna pop in front of both of them, and none of them got frozen. Next, I wanted to test out how much super energy it takes to just go around and start swinging around. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, the super still lasts a decent amount, but it does take a big chunk, as you can see on the bottom left. I'm probably able to swing around like eight to nine times, maybe like maybe six or seven. I'm not too sure. But the other thing that takes a lot of energy now is when you left click and right click in the air. So as you can see here, I do it on both of these guys. And every time I do it, it takes two chunks. So one for the left click. And then when I hit the ground, it takes for the right click as well. So it does take a consistent considerable amount of energy when you are doing that combo which is good it's a good nerf but the super is still really really strong and also for those wondering if you can shotgun melee a behemoth titan without vorpal weapons or if you can headshot it with something like an adored i have some good news and bad news so i tested this out with super high resilience basically i was at 100 resilience and also i tested it out at average resilience so around like six to seven because a lot of titans do run resilience due to the fact that you do get your shield more often so i wanted to make this a fair testing and uh you can headshot a behemoth if they have six resilience or lower anything higher than six resilience you cannot headshot the behemoth with something like a beloved and when it comes to shotgun meleeing it even with a fell winter's lie just don't even bother you're not you're you unless you have vorpal weapons you're not going to be able to shotgun melee the uh the titan unfortunately Next, we have the Titan melee ability. This is something I didn't really notice too much of a change on, besides the fact that I think it doesn't hit people as fast anymore. And I think it actually kind of pulls people towards the ground a little quicker. I could be wrong. If you try to use this melee ability as more of a movement thing, I don't think it lets you go as far anymore either. So that was also a nerf. Again, I could be kind of wrong on that. This was kind of 50-50. Uh, I wasn't really too sure what they changed about it, but I do feel like you don't hit people as far, but it's still really good and it feels relatively the same. Next, we have the weakest stasis subclass. At least it was the weakest. Now the melee does 30 damage instead of 80, I think it was. So this is a flat out nerf. Nothing special here besides it doing less damage. Also, I'm not sure why I'm getting 30 and then 11 as well, as you can see. If someone has an explanation for that, I'd appreciate it. I kind of looked at my, my artifacts. I didn't really understand, but uh, if you guys can tell me why, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I tried testing the tracking on the uh, Warlock aspect because it got buffed and uh, the, I thought the tracking would be a little bit smarter, but the only difference is it, it tracks stronger, not smarter. So all the stupid things it was doing before, I think it's still going to be doing it, but um, uh, it'll turn around quicker and stuff like that. But it was kind of hard to test uh, when I only have really two people to test it on. I think this is more of an in-game test. You got to really go through and just with experience over time, you'll start to understand what the change was. I think it'll probably just track faster and uh, be a little bit smarter, maybe, but 
Overall, I can't really tell the difference in a private match when people are standing still. Last but not least, we probably have the coolest change. Uh, the brand new Warlock Super actually got a really, really big buff, and the tracking is absolutely wild. Uh, as you guys knew, the Warlock Super wasn't the greatest before because it's really slow. It's kind of clunky. The uh, projectiles moved really slow as well. And overall, just wasn't that great. It was good to counter something like a Behemoth, but that was only what it was good for, nothing else. Now the projectiles can go in a huge freaking circle around the map. Like, it'll track you until you are dead. Uh, it's pretty good, I'm not going to lie, but I don't know if it's overpowered yet. Again, it's only a super, so you can't really base the whole subclass only on one super, but it's really, really good. So, in summary, is it overpowered? Is it still the meta? I don't think uh, some things are overpowered anymore, but I do think stasis is still the meta, yes. I haven't necessarily got on and played yet, and I know people are going to probably be like, oh, you haven't even tried it, dude, what are you talking about? Reality is, if you can slow people and remove the ability to actually play the game the way they want to, it's still going to be really, really good. You guys can slow people for four seconds with the fragment, remember that. Yes, while freezing people on Hunter won't be as annoying, it's still going to be very, very annoying getting shurikened across the map. I can promise you that. You have two shurikens and the dodge on Hunter. That's three abilities to slow people. Yeah, you're not freezing them, but you're still slowing them, which is really, really good still. The Warlock can still freeze people with their melee. Behemoth Titan still has the slide that makes them slide super, super far. They still have that new aspect that they can freeze people with. Again, you just can't do that type of stuff on other subclasses. The grenades are still really, really good on Stasis as well. Even though Dustfield got a nerf, it's still very, very good. You can still slow people, like I said. All in all, I don't see stasis ever not being meta until maybe slow gets nerfed somehow or some way or maybe the light subclasses get a buff you got to realize that there's also fragments as well you get damage boosts for freezing people on something like warlock that'd be really really good because you are still freezing people on warlock i don't think the hunter uh, stasis subclass is going to be as annoying anymore but i do still think you're going to see people running it especially in trials of osiris because you can just control so much of the map still. I'm sorry for those who thought Hunter Stasis would not be meta anymore, but I'm here to break it to you. It probably still is, and I can almost guarantee you're still going to run into people using it. That's going to conclude the video. Don't really have much else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it was very informative. If you guys disagree with what I said, or you have some things that I missed, please let me know in the comments down below, so people can also know that I missed something. I also want to take the time to plug my Twitch channel, because for some reason people still don't know that I stream on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash walla, even though I plug it in, in every single one of my videos at the beginning. Uh, yeah, go check me out on Twitch. Give me a follow, please and thank you. I would appreciate it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.